When it comes to the battle of the sexes, there's bad news for us guys. Research shows that women outsurvive men at almost every age, and men are much more likely to get injured. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin explains why. Research shows that men may live more rough and tumble lives, but women, we outlast them, and it all seems to come down to risk taking, like jumping out of a perfectly good airplane. Death is not an equal opportunist. You may have a little bit of nerves beforehand and stuff like that, but once you either, you know, jump out of the airplane or you hop in the wind tunnel, right, nothing else really matters. You know, you kind of have like this, that sense of just letting go. But does death favor the thrill seekers or just men in general? Trevor Gibbs decided to become an instructor after skydiving on a whim. It was um, my friend's birthday and uh, he literally just looked at me and goes, hey, I want to get certified to skydive. And I was like, all right, I'll go do it with you. Now Trevor teaches others to get a rush safely in an iFly wind tunnel. He agrees with research that suggests that from every age, males are more prone to injury and possibly death when compared to their female counterparts. Especially me growing up, I was an only child, but I had four um, girl cousins that I was always, you know, inline rollerblading, stuff like that. They're inside playing mall madness. A study from the Society of Actuaries shows the male disadvantage starts in the womb and spikes during their teens and early 20s. Yeah, I'm a thrill seeker and I love adventure action sports. During the middle years, in your 30s and 40s, the gender difference narrows and holds steady, but statistics still show that men are more likely to die from injuries and disease. Leading female illnesses do some damage, but not as much as the male afflictions. I agree. <laughs> I use my body to the fullest, but you get some bumps and bruises along the way. Mike Silva says it takes practice and a lot of mistakes to be a talented skydiver. It's just a combination of like speed and power and freedom, and you're like a superhero. And research also shows in their 50s, men begin to accelerate their dying, peaking in their 60s and 70s. It's proof in the numbers, sure. The ultimate conclusion, men are more fragile than women. <laughs> At least in my line of work, I'd have to say no. <laughs> Tell that to Brenda Porta and all the women in the Pink Gloves boxing group. We are strong women here. That's my stress reliever. I'm just like, I don't need that beer. I'm going to go work out. <laughs> so maybe women are more resilient or maybe they just know when to say no. A study done a few years ago showed that men and women are pretty much equal when it comes to taking risks socially. But women are much less likely to take risks when it comes to their health or recreation or gambling because they're more likely to perceive a negative outcome. In other words, they understand this might not go so well. For the Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin.